If you play a bat call in real time, it just sounds like a bunch of clicking. Susan Leonard spends a majority of her time analyzing bat calls. But if you play it in time expansion, these sounds are made possible by modern technology, which allows researchers to learn more about one of Montana's hardest to study creatures. They operate in the dark when we can't see them, up in the air where we don't go, and they make, for the most part, sounds we can't hear. And it's basically, with every advent of, of technology that we can apply to bats, we've learned more about them. It starts in the field, where crews set up remote audio devices that amplify and record bat calls. A computer program then processes these calls to determine the species of bat. And, then get recorded and the while it may player. seem like a simple method, it has taken years to learn how to identify individual species of bats. It's easy to get the, the sound bite from them, but you don't know who made it. And so calibrating our libraries to tell them apart has been a very difficult process. As this technology evolves, it will continue to be a powerful tool to expand our knowledge of Montana's bats. It allows us to cover a lot more areas um, with less time, less money. I mean, it gives us a bunch of data that otherwise would be in inaccessible. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.